Yo, what's going on guys, it is Generous here today, and as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, I'm doing another medieval tutorial, and today I'm doing the barn, something which you guys have been wanting for quite some time now, and this barn is actually, it's quite compact, it's quite small, but it's dead easy to make, it's like the, the materials are very cheap, it's easy to build, and honestly, it'll look great in obviously any medieval town or city that you're building, so what I'm going to do actually is, I'm going to actually go and get all the materials for this, find a spot to build it, and I'll catch you guys in just a second. Right, I've decided I'm going to do this just behind the medieval decorations here and obviously next to the medieval blacksmith which was my last tutorial which obviously if you haven't seen it go and have a look at it. But what we're going to do starting off is we're going to let's say just going to start right there like so, okay. Then we're going to leave a gap of three, place another spruce log there, leave a gap of three, leave one log there and then come the other side, leave a gap of three, place one log. So you've got a log, gap of three, log, gap of three, log, gap of three, log, like so. That's going to be how wide it's going to be. And obviously how long it's going to go backwards it is going to be one two three one one two three one one two three one so you've got four we've got a three by three okay so it's dead easy it's basically it's pretty much a big square they're going to go one two three one one two three one one two three one like so oops there you go one two three one one two three one like so so you've got that sheet which obviously i'll let you guys obviously get the dimensions now if you want to take a screenshot or pause the video here we go right once you've done that what we're going to do is we're going to take these up six. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. You're going to do that for each one, okay? Going right the way around, like so. Perfect. There we go. And then what you can do as well is you can connect all these. But I would leave... Actually, yeah, you go on. You can connect these as well. I was going to say you could leave them for later. But you can connect them now if it makes it easier for you guys. Here we go. So again, just continue going right the way around. Two, three. Going right the way up. Obviously, once you've done this... We're basically going to add another framework on top of this because we're going to add like the middle section which would be this little bit here and that little bit there obviously i said you don't really need it now but it's going to be they're going to go a little bit higher than what obviously this is like so here we go and obviously we're almost done going around doing obviously the framework for the bottom layer there we go once you've done that what we're going to do is take this up another six okay so one two three four five six like that Okay, and that there, we're not going to do anything with this bit, that is going to be the top of the roof right there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more time, one, two, three, four, five, six. Once you've done that, you're going to have logs at the bottom going right around the outside of this, okay? Obviously, this is just that, obviously, add a bit of, like, width and depth to it. Obviously, we may not make it look so, like, flat and straight, essentially. There we go, perfect. And then what you can do as well is you can get the dark oak slabs and throw dark hook slabs on top of all this like so here we go perfect there we go oh, i'll come back to that because i'm going to come back to the front side here there we go and obviously wherever your front is so my front's going to be here right here where these five blocks are going across so basically connecting where these two pillars are we're going to go inwards like one actually no, we're going to go out like that then go five across like so so we've got that it's up to you whether you want to do it inwards or not, like, so it's up to you whether you prefer that or not. I'm going to leave mine out like that because I think it looks a little bit better. And that there is basically the entire framework of all the logs and the, like, obviously the dark oak slabs done and dusted for you. Now the next step what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the walls, so I'm going to get the materials for that and I'll be back here in just a second. Right, to do the walls now, what you want to do is get cobblestone. And instead of usually going one high, which we usually see on, like, all the other builds, you want to go up too high for this one, okay? So... Go right around the entire build, go too high. Obviously, wherever you're like, you know, I'm gonna do on the side here, yeah, wherever your uh, yeah, entrance or exit is, obviously don't fill that up, like, because obviously that's gonna be the back side there, I'm, I'm gonna use that. And obviously that's where the front is, so I'm just gonna leave that section. Here we go, go right around the entire build, obviously, cobblestone too high, going right round. Once you've done that, spruce planks basically in one big, like, z like circle or zero, whatever you wanna call it, shape going right the way round. Obviously, it's up to you if you want to add the stair upside down stairs there. That's completely up to you, but just for the purpose of the build, I'm not going to do that. There we go. Obviously, going right round, and obviously, you can probably guess what's going to go like in between the uh, these spruce planks, which is obviously going to be glass going right the way around. Like so, there we go. Obviously, we've done one half, now we're going to do the other half real quick. There we go. Like so, perfect. We go three more to do, or four more. In fact, there we go. Now three more. There we go perfect. Two more, and last one. 
There we go, and then glass obviously in between all these, like so. Oops, there we go, didn't need to do that. Once we've done that, what we want to do is get grass blocks and place them in between these obviously spruce uh, logs that we placed them down earlier. Like so, perfect. And obviously, again, pretty much whatever you do to one side, you're going to do to the all the other sides. So you're just going to follow like this pattern going right the way around. Add trapdoors to all these, obviously, to hide all the dirt. Add whatever trapdoor you want. You can use dark oak, oak, whatever wood you would feel like it. But I think the spruce trapdoor looks the best because obviously it fits obviously with the medieval theme. And obviously with like these little like dots going across, I think that suits obviously what the whole medieval theme is because obviously it's a bit of like wood and cobblestone, isn't it? There we go. Once we've done that, obviously bow me on top of all this. Put as much bow me as you want down. I'm just gonna pretty much go around as quick as you want and I'm just gonna leave all like, these extra excess uh, grass that are like fall on the floor. But that that there is basically what you're gonna do going right around the outside. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do the roof because the roof what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do one half of the roof because the roof's a little bit of like a it's one of them things where it, it, you can basically copy it one side and then I'll obviously I'll just skip over and you can copy it on the other side because it's dead easy once you've done one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go at the materials and I'll be back here in just a second. Right, to do the roof, what you want to do is obviously either come to the right hand side or left hand side, it's completely up to you. You want to start by just obviously covering this entire set of logs on the top here with obviously whatever wood you want to use. I'm going to obviously again use spruce because that's obviously my favourite block and fits with the medieval theme. Add cobblestones to each end of these like so. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, just like that okay so you've done this so far so you've got one two three basically going up like normal and then obviously three underneath that are upside down or well, again once you run it to one side do it to the other side so there's one two and then there's your third one and then your third upside down as well once you've done that go too high going up with the cobblestone and then basically just continue this going right up going upside down and like normal going right across one more like so and then here upside down so you've got one two three Two down, one, two, three, uh, normal stairs. Again, one, up normal stair, upside down stair, normal stair, upside down stair, normal stair. And then obviously going across here, you will have the cobblestone blocks going right across. And obviously once you've done one side, you can just repeat it on the other, but I'll do the other side off camera. Just obviously save a bit of time for me. Here we go, so you're gonna go right across, obviously with the spruce layer, spruce stairs. Here we go, and obviously, do it a lot slower than what I am, obviously I'm I'm trying to rush this a little bit for you guys. As you can see, I can, I'm keep, basically keep messing up essentially, but here we go. And then like this bit here, obviously where the two cobblestone was, what we're going to do, we're going to place one row going like this, going right at the bottom. The next row you want to go two, like so, leave a gap, place three, leave a gap, place three, leave a gap, place two. And then what you're going to do is just place, obviously, glass in between them and then stairs on top of all of this okay like so here we go and then finishing off up here here we go perfect oops here we go almost done with obviously one half of the roof and then obviously you guys can pause the video and do the other half if you want to here we go and obviously to make it easier for me what i'm going to do is just fill this in between the top three already and then i can basically just place stairs on along the bottom of obviously these spruce planks like so here we go and that obviously, as you can see, it's a lot easier really doing that. And that there is obviously one half of the roof done and dusted. What obviously you're best doing is obviously taking a screenshot of this if you want to now the side section here. And then obviously take a screenshot of the side section here, just so you can get like obviously your like your angles and stuff for it. And then copy that on this half of the roof, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this half of the roof and I'll show you how to like do like these inner sections here. So I'll catch it in just a second. Right, to do the inner sections here, obviously these little smaller sections on the side, what you want to do is basically just fill these in with spruce planks going right the way so obviously going from top to bottom as you can see here we go and then this front section here the back section is a little bit different so what you're probably best doing is doing the back section first like so and then basically just leave obviously a one gap up top here on now with obviously the rest of the glass because you're going to have a glass stair pane there just fill the rest of this in really with uh, spruce planks there we go well obviously the back side I'm going to do this one in a minute but the front side here first what you want to do is you want to place obviously spruce planks up there slab here and here upside down then what you want to do is come up by one with spruce there then oak with the other okay because that's going to be where your floor is you can have the floor whatever you want to be but obviously i'm going to have it as oak and obviously the cobblestone stairs three regular ones and then two facing inwards on the side 
we're going to have a spruce fence right here and here like so then what we're going to do get andesite walls and go one two three four out like so then what we're going to do is get rid of the glass get some smooth stone slabs out we're going to come down one two three then a wall obviously this can be whatever wall you want but i'm going for this wall i'm actually going to use cobblestone this wall here something a bit different then we're going to have obviously a three by three plate of slabs here like so and then it's completely up to you but i'm going to, say I'm going to add the hay bales just there just so random and completely completely up to you and also what we're going to do is get some dark oak stairs and add upside down dark oak stairs there just to make a bit of a, more of an archway instead of just being a full square and flat and then the back side here obviously where we've got this logs going across here you can probably guess where this is going upside down stairs and going right the way around like so so you got that then what we're going to do get rid of all this we're going to put some grass blocks on top of all this surround this with trap doors just like so there we go and then bone meal the top of that and then there we go that, that'll do for the back side so that's the back side done and then obviously this is the front side i'm gonna let you obviously get a screenshot of this in case you want to obviously just get a pause of the video so you can start looking at it and now what we're going to do is we're going to do the inside here which is the inside dead easy but first what i'm going to do is obviously i'm going to place obviously the uh, the floor in here and then get the materials to the bottom section so i'll catch it in one second right now that i've added obviously the roof in here and i've left one gap there because what we're going to do is actually we're going to destroy this back wall back window there sorry then we're going to place ladders going right obviously right the way up and right up until basically you meet the next window up here there you go just obviously so you can get up here and then up here it's completely up to you just throw whatever you want up here it could be chest it could be hay bales just as i'm doing i'm basically just scattering all these all over the place because it didn't really have to be in a specific order obviously unless you want to have it in a specific order but i'm just gonna throw it just as a just as a decoration quickly here we go maybe one there uh, a few in the corner there and then one there get rid of these two there there you go that'll do once you've done that gonna come down here and then we're gonna, what we're gonna do get gravel first we're gonna place, basically place gravel where i'm obviously digging out here in between these two pillars where obviously the front is and where the ladder is we're basically gonna delete all this and place gravel and then every three so one two three and obviously where the pillar is leave that one two three leave the where one is there we go and obviously mirror that on this side there we go one two three there we go and then just fill this in with gravel this can be obviously whatever you want but i'm just using the gravel because it's obviously it's a dead easy and cheap material to go and get and uh, it looks decent as a floor there we go there we go perfect and there we go then what we want to do is make these go too high where obviously where we've left the gap in between where the gravel should be make them go too high and put logs going right across here like so there we go one there and one there on top of all these the uh, spruce logs here slabs it can be stone slabs whatever you want i'm gonna obviously have the, the smooth stone slabs because i think they look best spruce fences in between obviously whatever fence you want to use but i'm going to use spruce there we go and then obviously it's up to you whatever gate you want to use just throw in between all these and basically these obviously these are all your pens from different animals like you have two pigs two sheep two cows two chickens two rabbits and then two i don't know wolves or cats whatever you want it's up to you and obviously it's up to you how you want to light it up but what you can do as well is get dark oak stairs and place dark oak stairs upside down here just to basically make it a little bit obviously less less pointy in the corner and make it a bit more like arched like so there we go perfect and that there is basically the barn done and dusted if you guys have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe turn the notification bell down below and i'll catch you guys in my next episode see ya